People keep asking me questions about my system based on advanced search and the filtered notes widget. So here we go again. Today I'll talk about my creativity process, the videos, articles, and everything related to content creation. You might hear some construction noise. I'm sorry for that. Everything content related is in my YouTube notebook. Book. Just as a reminder, this is not my main account, it's a tests account. That's why I don't have a lot of notes here. When I have an idea, I'll create a note in this notebook, and more often than not, it's a crude idea. And to make things worse, I'm terrible with titles. So for this video, I just title it How I Do It. Crazy title, right? If this is the only thing I'm writing, I'll stop here, but if I have anything else in mind, I'll go to the gallery and apply my videos template. I'll start writing some ideas down here. I'll explain all the sections in a moment, but I have to show you this. Go to settings, create a new button, and let's choose default, and let's add a template. Save changes. And now when I tap here, choose template, I can select a template from my gallery. Pretty cool, right? Hey Evernote, if you're listening to this, there's space here. Just add a, an option here for templates <laughs> for the gallery. <laughs> Create a new note from the gallery, please. Add it here. Okay. When it's time to work on content creation, I'll go to Evernote Home and choose what's the best option for that moment. But how do I know it's time to work on content creation? How I organize my time around content creation and my other activities? Hold that thought and subscribe to the channel because there is a calendar video coming soon. Backlog widget houses all possible future scripts. When it's time to work on a script, add more details to it, I'll add the story tag. And this will move that node to the story widget. It will remove it from the backlog and add it to the story widget. When the script is done and I'll be working on the second part, that is the recording, editing, and publishing the video, I'll add the whip work in progress tag. And now that note will move from the story to the whip widget. Let me show you what I have inside each one of this. This is the advanced search. I talk a little bit about it on my cert video. If you want to learn, watch that video. And I'm thinking about working on videos explaining each one of this search terms. If you would like something like that, please let me know in the comments below. Let's check story. I have notes in the notebook YouTube with the tag story, but without the tag whip and without the tag Don. The work in progress is almost the same. Everything inside the YouTube notebook with the tag whip, but without the tag Don and without the tag story. Adding the notebook YouTube to the advanced search means that clients with the work in progress tag will not show in the WIP widget. I don't need them there because the client's widget has only clients that are in progress. I don't need to duplicate that information, okay? Everything starts in the backlog widget, but how do the notes get here? Remember that I quickly create notes in the YouTube notebook when I have an idea, so it's not that hard and I think you already got it. Everything inside the YouTube notebook, but without the tag Don, without the tag Whip, and without the tag Story. In other words, no tags. I'm trying to organize myself to publish at least one video every Sunday, and the calendar widget is helping me here. As you might imagine, a lot of videos are in progress at the same time in different stages of this system. So when I decide that one of the videos in the work in progress widget is the next one to be published, I'll go to the note and add the 
publishing date. In this case, let's say the 2nd of April. The idea here is to organize things and have a schedule of publications like two or three videos ahead of time. This is where I'll paste the YouTube URL of the final video. Below here, I'll have the description and other information that I've been building during the video production. Then it's just a matter of copying this and pasting it to the description box on YouTube. Let me show you how the final product looks like. This is the last video I published. So let's get back here. Down here, I have a space for resources. It can be a link to an article, videos, images, anything that helps me with the script. And below that, the script. Which brings us to the article. Some of my videos, they have a companion article that I write based on the script. If I'm writing a, an article for this video, for example, I'll copy the script, paste it to a Google Doc. Now I can use the Google Drive integration and add a link to that article. But let's pretend I'm not working on an article. If we go back here, you see that the note is here. Say I'm already done with it. I have already published the video. So all I have to do is add the tag done and it will be removed from Evernote home. But in this case, I still have work to do. I still have an article to work on. So that's why it doesn't have the tag done. It will stay in the whip widget until I write and publish that article. As I mentioned before, although the notebooks called YouTube it houses anything related to content creation. For example, I have a tag called partnerships for partnerships and sponsoring partnerships. I have another tag for projects for, well, <laughs> projects. For partnerships, I also have a widget. Can you guess what is the advanced search I built there? the YouTube notebook with the tag partnerships without the tag done. If it's something I don't need or don't work on every day, I set it as a shortcut. As for projects, I prefer to set the tag as a shortcut because it's something I'm not working every day. Another example of a shortcut is my travel notebook. The system I created helps me a lot. It shows me what's up next. But combining it to some Evernote features help me, for example, take a note of an idea and get back to work. Let me show you. Say I'm here preparing myself for the next meeting with a client and I got an idea for the next video. Command J on Mac or Control Q for Windows users. YouTube. Create a note, new idea, common J, consulting, and I'm back to where I was. <laughs> to learn other 10 hidden features, watch this other video. And to learn more, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.